Hi everybody, it's Lana from Lana Under Pressure and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect chicken breast in the Instant Pot. Chicken breast can be really hard to cook whether you're cooking it in the Instant Pot or on the oven or the stove because it has so little fat to it and so then the margin of a temperature where it's nice and tender and juicy to where it turns into like this shoe leathery stringy overcooked mess is really thin. Um, however, I found with a lot of testing that you can cook it in the Instant Pot really quickly by using a two-part method to infuse flavor and also keep it moist and delicious. So I'm using a standard one pound skinless boneless chicken breast. And um, this is the kind that you'd find, you know, I found this one at Costco, but you can also find it. It usually comes in a pack of two. Um, these are on a little bit the larger size because I find that these cook better in the Instant Pot. Now, if you're going to use something that's a lot less than one pound or over, you're going to want to change the cooking time. And in my recipe, I'll make sure I give you the conversions to that. And you'll find that in the description below. So. To start, you want to make sure also that your chicken breast comes straight out of the fridge because having it cold and starting to cook it is also going to help regulate the temperature so that it doesn't change as quickly and you won't get stringy chicken. Um, third, what you're going to do is you want to wash it off in the sink, you want to rinse it off, and then you want to pat it dry with a paper towel, just like that. And what this does is, one, it'll help once we put the seasoning on it to stick, but it'll also, when we start to saute it, if it's nice and dry, it'll brown a lot quicker and you won't overcook it. So you're just going to use a paper towel just like that. Perfect. So now we're ready to add the seasoning. And I'm going to use uh, the Goya Adobo, um, but you can really use any seasoning that you like. Um, that you'd like to impart in that, or you can just add uh, salt and pepper. But you're going to sprinkle on about a half tablespoon of this seasoning on both sides. Just like that. Pat it in a little bit. Flip it over. Perfect. Just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and set that aside, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the broth liquid part. So for the liquid part, what I have here is one and a half cups of water. And I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and one half of a cube of chicken bouillon. And so I'm going to add that straight into the liquid, into the water. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. And now it's okay if you don't dissolve the bouillon cube completely because once we heat it up in the liquid, um, we're going to stir it a little bit there and then it'll dissolve. Now, um, I like to use the chicken uh, bouillon cubes. However, you can use one and a half cups of water with some of the better than bouillon, or you can use one and a half cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. It's really up to you. But you want to make sure that you do add some salt because that's going to help almost brine the chicken while it's cooking. So now the first step to actually cooking this chicken breast, we're going to go ahead and sear it. And so what we're going to do is we want to sear it or saute it on high. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to go ahead and press saute. And then now on this one, which is the smart pot, has the adjust button. And we're going to hit that until it adjusts and it says high. Now if your Instant Pot doesn't have an adjust button, all you would do is you would hit the saute button con continuously so that it cycles through and it goes to the high mode. And then we're going to go ahead and wait until it says hot. So now the Instant Pot displays hot and we're going to go ahead and saute it. And first what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. It's helping us to get a really good sear on the outside of the chicken breast. So we're going to add two tablespoons. Okay. And we're going to let that get hot for a few seconds and then we're going to add the chicken. Now our olive oil is hot and we're going to go ahead and add the chicken breast. And we're going to go ahead and add that straight to it. And once we add it, we're not going to move it for two to two and a half minutes to let it really brown. So now our chicken has been uh, sauteing for two, two and a half minutes. And we're going to go ahead and flip it. Perfect. And we're going to let it go for another two minutes. Now our chicken breast has been sautéing for uh, two minutes on the other side, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Instant Pot by pressing Cancel. And I'm going to go ahead and take some pot holders and I'm going to lift this out and drain off the olive oil and then return it to the pot. So now I drained off the oil 
and I'm going to go ahead and press saute again. And then I'm going to add the liquid to the pot. And make sure you get all of the bouillon cubes in there. Perfect. And then I'm going to let this come to a boil before I add the chicken. And while it's boiling and while it's getting hot, I'm going to use my wooden spatula to not only scrape up the brown bits from the chicken that we sauteed, but also to go ahead and dissolve whatever rest of the bouillon cubes we have in there. And now this part is really important to go ahead and scrape it up because if you don't scrape up all the brown bits from the chicken sauteing, you will get a burn notice. So just go ahead and once the liquid comes to a boil, it'll make it really easy to just go ahead and scrape off all of that. Now that our liquid has come to boil, we're going to go ahead and press cancel. And then we're going to add our chicken straight into the pot. Now once we do that, we're going to go ahead and place our lid. We're going to make sure the vent uh, is on sealing. And then we're going to press manual and we're going to adjust the time to just three minutes. Now once we've adjusted the time to three minutes, we're going to go ahead and leave it alone and it's going to go ahead and come to pressure by itself. Once it does, it's going to count down from three minutes and then we're going to allow it to natural pressure release, which means leave it alone for about 15 to 20 minutes. After about 15 to 20 minutes, it should be done releasing all the pressure on its own. If it doesn't, then after 20 minutes you're going to release whatever little bit of pressure there is left. So now it's been natural pressure releasing for about 16 minutes and I'm looking and I see that the silver pin on the top is still hasn't gone down so that means all of the pressure hasn't come out yet so I'm going to let it sit for another four minutes until it says 20 and I'm going to check it then. So now it's been 20 minutes. I've gone ahead and turned off my Instant Pot and now even if the pin hasn't gone down, I know after about 20 minutes most of the pressure has released so I can go ahead and just release the rest of the pressure, there's only going to be a little bit left, by turning the valve to vent. Seeing you can hear there's not very much pressure and that will go ahead and drop the pin just like that and I can open the lid. So now the chicken is done, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And now you don't have to check the temperature, but I'm going to go ahead and check it just so that you can see that it's going to be done to a perfect 165. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And it just slices really easy, just like that. And it's perfectly done. And you can see right there, it's juicy on the inside, completely cooked through, but not stringy at all. Perfect chicken breast. So there you have it, a perfectly cooked, moist and tender chicken breast in the Instant Pot. It didn't take a lot of prep work, um, it has, but it has a lot of flavor. And if you enjoyed that, if you could just go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I had a lot of fun. Thanks. Bye.